So, you know when you don't want to just kill? It's so angry. I got the recipe for you. <laughs> Hello there! <laughs> Welcome! <laughs> Today I'm gonna be an idiot and I'm also gonna show you how to make a fogarita. So there are some days where, I know it's like very infrequent, but there are some days where you either don't feel like drinking alcohol or you just wanna not drink alcohol. Cool. <laughs> But there are some days where you either don't feel like drinking alcohol or you can't actually drink alcohol because maybe you have to drive somewhere or maybe you have like a drug test the next day. I don't know, who doesn't drink alcohol? Just kidding, I know a lot of people don't and that's awesome, good for you. But alcohol can also cause ew, premature aging and that is really sucky, so I get it. Anywho, maybe you just wanna make a mocktail or Maybe it's midday on like a Wednesday and you're stuck working at home and you really want to have a cocktail but you can't. This is for you. Well, first off, the history behind the margarita. So legend has it that in 1938, a proprietor of a restaurant made this drink for Marjorie King. Well, so she was a famous actress and she was also a Ziegfeld Follies dancer. Um, and she went to his establishment and she was allergic to a bunch of different types of spirits So then she, but the only one she wasn't allergic to was tequila So he was like, all right, I got you I'll make you a drink and then he ended up making the margarita fun fact margarita means daisy in Spanish Did you know that? Lo siento if you did Anywho, let's get started. So first what you do This is my little handy dandy mixing jar I don't have a cocktail shaker because I don't like stuff because hashtag minimalism and I use this ball jar as my little handy dandy mixer because it does the job just well for me and I'm sure it'll do just well for you. So first off, I'm gonna take, I wash my hands, social distancing, COVID-19. You're gonna take your ice. <laughs> I normally do about three ice cubes, put them in your jar then I take an orange. So the main thing is orange juice in this recipe. And I really like fresh squeezed. These are grapefruits. <laughs> oh no, this is an orange. Doesn't that look like a grapefruit? It does. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so. Or maybe one is. Let me sip it. It's oh, definitely orange. an orange. Yeah. Okay, so today we're gonna make a blood orange fogarita. So, what I like in this recipe is fresh squeezed orange juice. So, let's squeeze. Ugh. <laughs> so yeah, just wanna juice your citrus goods. Oh God, this is so messy. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Almost there, guys. Keep up the good work in three, two, one, and rest. <laughs> it's like those workout videos. Yeah, oh, I know. <laughs> Keep it going. Feel that burn. Come on, Stacy. Get your glutes up. Okay. Cool. I think I've done enough. And we're back. Technical, technical difficulties. <laughs> So in case you missed all that, I was squeezing oranges and I just spoke for minutes <laughs> about what the world can do to better itself and how to achieve world peace. I don't know if we got it though because there are some technical difficulties, but hey, c'est la vie. Okay, so in case you missed it, I said that I normally use about two medium-sized oranges for um, my fresh squeezed orange juice. And that's roughly, if you're just using store-bought, um, roughly about three quarters to one cup of um, fresh orange juice. The next thing that we do is we take half of a lime and half of a lemon and juice them right in here. 
So in modern day margaritas, you do, I think it's the sweet and sour mix or something, or is that with Chinese food? Sour mix, that's what you do. So yeah, this is like how modern day margaritas have sour mix. You have the lemon and then you have the lime. Oh, can't forget. This is simple syrup. We make it with demerara sugar. It's a one to one ratio of um, demerara sugar to water. I do about one teaspoon in here. So now that everything is in here, just give this a really good shake. You wanna make sure everything is all mixed up very well. Okay, look at that beautiful color and the fizzies on top. Okay, so now you're gonna wanna take your serving vestibule. <laughs> that is what I call it. Um, and then take a wedge of lime and coat the rim of your glass. And then here I have a mixture of coarse and fine sea salt. And then you're just gonna rim your glass. Okay, I have a cute little rim on mine. So now you're gonna take your fogarita mixture and try to catch the ice before it falls in there. And you know, if it falls in there, that's just how the day is going. Just like how you accidentally picked up not real oranges. Okay, so now what I, ooh, what I like is a little bit of Topo Chico on top. I like the fizziness and it helps make it not super sweet. I don't know, I just think it's kind of nice. I like fizziness. And then garnish with your lime wedge and voila, you have your fogarita. Let's see how this shit tastes. Oh, that is so good. Oh, I love that. Look at how pretty the colors are too. I just love those colors, it's just gorgeous. Conversely, if you actually want to turn this into a margarita, you could swap out the Topo Chico with tequila. <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> handy dandy assistant. Um, this is what we've been drinking lately, it's Diddy's tequila, right? Yeah, we got it because there are skulls on the lid. Look, isn't that cool? And the big D is for big D in the kids' table. <laughs> you don't know who that is, do you? Anyway, so yeah, if you want, you could even just add a shot of tequila in here um, instead of the Topo Chico. Um, here you go. Thank you, handy dandy assistant. Um, for my next trick, I will make this disappear. But yeah, thanks for watching and uh, Tune in next week to Quarantine Kitchen to hear more about mocktail recipes, cocktail recipes, or the history of anything else I can think of. Um, so yeah, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>